Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to make your video shake or quake. And it'll look something like this. So if you're interested in that, stick around and I'll show you how to do it. Alrighty, let's get into it. The first thing you're going to need to do is actually minimize iMovie because we don't need it right now. What you're going to do is open up Keynote, which is the little icon here with the little uh, stand. So if it's not in your dock, just go to your finder, go to applications, and alphabetically look for a Keynote. It'll be right there. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. Okay, sometimes it'll prompt you with a little thing here. I usually just hit cancel, go to the top, go file and new. And basically you can just pick any of these. I usually do just black basic and then click create. Now what you do is click here and just delete all this stuff here. So now what I'm going to do is actually grab a piece of video and drag it into the canvas area right here. And it say it won't be able to play in HDR if you recorded it, but uh, yeah, I don't care. Say OK. So it's going to import that video and put it in here for you. And you can, you know, test it, play it if you want, whatever, but no big deal. If you've already looked at the video, then you don't need to. All you need to do is actually start by going to animate. And then we're going to actually go to the action here. We're going to add an effect. And there used to be like a shake or, or a quake, but now I, I don't see it here anymore, but I usually just use jiggle. So I'll add Jiggle there, and it gives you a little preview. And if you want to increase the duration of it, right now it's at one second. And for me, uh, I usually just put one or two seconds. And then after that, um, I'll do my editing in iMovie. I usually leave it on medium. You can do a large shake, or you can do medium shake preview, or a small shake. Okay. I usually find for me, medium is, is good enough. So let me preview that real quick. Okay, so at this point, I'm done. I don't need to do anything else to the video. You could add more actions if you wanted to, but for me, that's all I really want. And from here, now we're going to go to the file menu. We're going to export to movie. And I just leave everything as is. And uh, I guess you could technically change the resolution or whatever you want, but I don't do anything. I leave it on self playing, all slides. Don't even touch the timer, nothing. I just hit next. And then I name it shake test two. And I want it to go to my desktop. Then I'll hit export, give it a second to do its thing. And now I close keynote without saving. I just delete. And then I go back to my iMovie down here that I still have open. And let me delete this one from the timeline here. And I'll delete this as well. Uh, delete. Okay, now let's import that shake test two from the desktop right here. We'll go ahead and import that. And it's 22 seconds long, but we don't need that long. So what we're going to do is drag it into the timeline and look for our shake wherever it appears at. Right there. So I'll just do a little bit before. I'm going to right click, split the clip. I'm going to go to the end of the shake and I'll split the clip. I'm going to delete the rest. And now we have a clip that actually shakes for us. So if you don't like the speed here, you can actually increase it by going to your, you know, your speedometer here and going to um, fast and make it two times or four times. And that's it. And you can incorporate that into your video any way you want. So it's a two-step process, but it's free. It comes with your Mac, so it's kind of cool. And you can mess around with other animations, and you can animate images, text, or whatever, and just bring them in. But for this video, I just wanted to show you how to make a video shake or quake. And I think that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below, and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Don't forget, peace and aloha.